Hello, good evening and welcome to another program on Law and Order on a beautiful Friday evening. Each week it's a program where we take a topic on law and discuss in depthly on that to give you the knowledge of law on that area. Now, in today's world, increasingly, whether we buy a house, we uh, buy a car or even personally, we have this habit of going to take what you call an insurance. It has come to such a big area and spread to all areas that I found as an entertainment lawyer that singers or people even insure their voices and some people won't get on the stage to sing if the voice is not insured. But if you ask any person what is insurance, you might come up with answers like it's a form of a protection from financial losses in the event something unexpected could happen or it could also be termed as a risk management primarily used to hedge against the risk of an uncertain loss. But all these are different kind of answers you might hear. But what exactly is the law relating to insurance? This is an area in law and order we have not touched before. So today I thought we'll go deep into this with a specialist on the subject. My guest today therefore is the AGM Legal of Janashakti Insurance PLC Ms. Nirosha Pereira, Attorney at Law. Nirosha, thank you very much for taking time off your busy schedule and coming here. And how are you today? I'm fine. And uh, first of all, let me thank you for inviting me this for me this program. And um, we'll see how it is going on. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll see. It was very difficult to get you and on this specialized subject. Okay, mm -hmm. let me, like I, like I said in my introduction, you can get all sorts of interpretation about what is insurance. Yes. But legally, if you look at it, what exactly is insurance? As you explained, Shanakya, insurance, you are very correctly informed that insurance is a risk transfer mechanism. Mm. Legally also, it is a risk transfer mechanism. Mm. So we'll see how it is happen. As an individual, as a business ent entities, because you can't undertake whatever the risk you are facing throughout your lifetime. Mm. It's very difficult. So that's why the insurance mechanism is introduced in this world. Mm. So in Insurance is a way of transferring your risk to insurance company. Of course, insurance company take, an, take a payment for that. Yeah. So insurance in the insurance world, we call it that premium. So for a premium, you are transferring a risk. So I'll take an example, yeah. Chanakya. So suppose now what we do, uh, everybody do in the morning, we hurriedly get up in the morning and we do our home stuff and we want to go to our working place. Yeah. So for me, so I also do the same thing. I get up in the morning and do my home, home stuff and I'm trying to go to my working place. So all our intention is to report to our working place on time. So what happens if I meet with an accident on my way to office? So that's not my expectation. I, I will ever never expect that type of a thing. But this could be happen. So what will happen after that? So my vehicle can be get damaged and I may be suffering injuries. So those are the things, those are the risks the day to day we are facing. Mm. So as an individual, I won't be able to expect that type of a risk and I won't be able to bear that type of a, such damages to my vehicle mm. and I have to repair the vehicle and I may be suffering injuries. So those things, if I have an insurance, it's easy for me mm. to transfer my risk. This is called insurance. Yes, yes. So it is not the only the individual and the business entities get the transfer the risk. The similar way, insurance companies also they transfer risk to their reinsurers. This is how the mechanism is going to be worked out. Mm -hmm. This is insurance. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, because a lot of people are not sure of this. Now, uh, is this a, how long? How old is this industry? Actually, uh, uh, Chanakya, now before I talking about the uh, current status of yeah. the insurance, yeah. I would like to touch briefly the history of the insurance industry yeah. in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Insurance industry actually commenced with the intent of, with the, um, with the in introduction of tea and coffee industry to Sri Lankan market. Mm -hmm. So it was originally it was the it was on the hands of the foreign insurance entities there were no local insurance companies in the market and it was only the local agencies who were maintaining their plantation they were the primary entrance to the insurance industry and they were also acting as the local agents to, for their for, the, for those foreign companies and with the commencement of the the, the companies act number 1938 so the doors were open for insurance current the local insurance companies so it was the only the uh, the Ceylon insurance company was the first insurance company 
was established as a primary uh, local company and after this in 1960 insurance industry was nationalized mm. and as a result sri lanka insurance corporation was established mm. so thereafter it was only sri lankan uh, sri lanka insurance corporation had the authority to underwrite both life and general insurance business mm. so there was a government monopoly mm. so in 1980 another insurance uh, state owned insurance entity namely national insurance corporation it was established so throughout 25 years it was the hands of the state government state owned insurance companies so after 25 years the doors were open to the the private insurance companies mm. that's how the insurance companies the history started in sri lanka okay uh, like uh, you were about to say uh, when you answering that the current Uh, status of the insurance industry of Sri Lanka. Yes. If I may ask you that, I yes. know broad question. You can take your time. What is the current status of insurance? Uh, yes, industry? Chana. Uh, the current uh, the insurance industry has become one of the most competitive industries in Sri Lanka mm-hmm. today. So uh, currently, the insurance industry is governed by the Insurance Board of Sri Lanka. in terms of the regulation of insurance industry act number no. 43 of 2000 mm-hmm. which is coming under the ministry of finance mm-hmm. so at the moment there are 29 insurance companies in sri lanka up to 2015 chanakya sri lankan insurance companies had the powers to underwrite both general, uh, general and life insurance businesses but uh, as per a regu- uh, regulatory requirement in 2015 the regulator introduced a new law and now the insurance companies can't underwrite both general and life insurance segments mm. it's only as i told you there are 29 companies in the markets it's only two companies at the moment who underwrite both general and life insurance business and 13 companies only are engaged in general insurance business and another 12 companies are engaged in life insurance business mm. so when you when we talk about the insurance industry it is not only the insurance companies there are three main categories insurance companies insurance brokers and insurance agents mm. who are these insurance brokers and insurance uh, agents yeah. i briefly touch on that and insurance brokers they are acting as intermediaries for on behalf of either it could be a policy holder or customer or it could be the insurance companies yeah. so this both these categories insurance brokers and insurance agents they have to get registered under the uh, the insurance board of sri lanka chana ke now if you want to act as an agent or a broker mm. tomorrow you can't do that chana ke mm. there are a lot of regulatory issues mm. because insurance is public money so everything there are a lot of formalities there are a lot of regulatories you have to comply mm. so insurance agents also they are they are one, one segment they are helping the policy holders and the insurance companies in order to procure and secure the insurance business mm. this is how the insurance industry works out today right now uh, you gave a like a succinct presentation of of what the history and the current status yes. uh, before i go to ask what is the law why was it necessary to break this insurance into two segments you said two different companies general and life life why yes. was it necessary it's like uh, this uh, you mean the regulatory requirement yeah why did it, it happen recently right yes, 2015 yes chana ke yes. because actually if you look at the world practices in the insurance industry right. it was most of the countries they adopt only they do only one segment of uh, business hmm. either it could be general it could be life this is mainly due to the transparency hmm. as i told you insurance companies always deal with public money mm. so it is it is very important mm. it is very mandatory that we have to have the transparency so that's why the regulator imposed this new law mm. and the insurance all the insurance companies have complied with that except two uh, entities and they are also in the process of complying the situation right so um, now tell me the law relating to insurance most of us are not aware in the most most probably what yeah. is the law that governs the insurance industry in sri lanka as i told you chana ke at the moment insurance industry is governed by the regulation of insurance industry act number 43 of 2000 yeah. and it was amended 2011 mm. and the 
and the insurance companies, it is very mandatory that insurance companies have to comply with those terms and conditions. Mm. Other than that, the regulator, they can impose time, time to time, they can impose laws as per the requirements, as per the, as per the necessity requirements of the policyholders in order to safeguard the policyholders' rights. Mm. Insurance regulation of insurance, uh, the, the insurance board of Sri Lanka has the authority to impose uh, new laws mm. as well as the minister also. Mm. Uh, current and uh, okay now one of the things i ask you about uh, about why the companies had to divide into we'll go into what are the different types of insurance yes uh, isn't it creating a problem for people to having to go to two different companies uh, to buy two different insurers when they could have taken it in one no it's what like is the, why legally what do you why, why, why do you see is it is, isn't it Oh, isn't it okay to keep it in one company? No, uh, yeah, answering your question, Chanakya, it is the requirement of the companies to maintain their records separately, mm. especially with regard to their financial accounts and mm. everything to se record mm. separately. But that doesn't mean that the customer has to go to two other, two different uh, companies. Mm. Insurance companies are allowed by the regulator to transact the business in one house. Ah. In right. one house, you can go to, and if you want to get a motor policy, as well as on the same day, if you want to get your get a uh, life insurance policy, you mm. can get it done in the same house. Yeah. But it is for the transaction purposes. It is for the recording purposes. The insurance companies has to, they have to run separately. Right. Now, let tell me what are the different types. Now, I, I in my introduction, I was telling about uh, uh, type of insurance that are taken by. Uh, and people in the entertainment industry, yes. especially abroad, yes. may le less here. But what are the types of insurance that are available in Sri Lanka? Yeah, uh, uh, answering your question, Chanakya, insurance business mainly categorized into two sections. Mm -hmm. That is life. Mm. It's usually long-term policies mm. and non-life. We call these as general insurance policies. Yeah. These are the two main segments yeah. in the insurance business. Yeah. So if I explain about the life insurance policies mm. it's as i told you it's a normally it's a long term policy mm. and like the word itself is relating to human life mm. what the person has to do is if you want to get a life insurance policy mm. you have to go to the insurance company but mm. this is all these things first you have to discuss with the insurance company and the company also check about your health conditions and your age and your occupation based on that company will decide to how to take how to issue the policy and what conditions they need to apply mm. this is called life insurance mm. and those days like uh, the the primary days chanakya life insurance only mainly involved with the human life mm. and al as well as the health plans mm. but you know because with the changes of your la our lifestyle lifestyles mm. and with our habits so insurance products are also getting changed every day yeah. now life insurance Segment is not only totally related to human lives as well as your long term health plans. Right. Now you can plan your retirement. Yes. You can plan your investments mm -hmm. under life insurance policies. These are the new segments introduced to life insurance categories. Mm -hmm. So that is life insurance. Mm -hmm. And so before before you go to the other yes. one, when you say life, you talk about people. Yes. I mentioned about people, uh, artists, you know, uh, um, insuring their yes. voices. Yes. Right, and if they are go, there are artists that if they go to other countries to perform because the health and uh, environmental climatic conditions, if they don't have a special, uh, you know, insurance, they might not perform. These are big artists I'm talking. Yes. Like that, there are dancers internationally who insure their parts of the body, legs and arms, on different ways. Right? Uh, is this a type of insurance available in Sri Lanka? No, actually, uh, Chanakya, <laughs> Sri Lankan insurance industry, especially when it's come to life segment. Yes. It is not improved as much as when Detailed. you talk, yeah, when you compared with the other parts of the world and especially mm. European countries. Yes. So they have this insurance. Because there's no demand for that, is it? Yes, actually, mm. there is no demand for that. Mm -hmm. So, and I have not experienced that, like voice uh, insuring mm. and the one like a part of the body is insured. Mm. It's not happening in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So basically, the life in, life uh, when you talk about life insurance, life insurance penetration is very low with compared to other countries in the world. Why is that? People are unaware or what? Yes, I will, uh, I will come to, I, yeah. I will uh, lengthy discuss in my, like, um, uh, like later. Yeah. And um, mainly, it's not only the unawareness, hmm. because due to low income of the people also, ah. the 
in this country taking a life insurance is not mandatory hmm. but if you look at the other parts of the world hmm. there are countries you have to have a life insurance right. policy hmm. you can't live without a life insurance policy here of course we are fortunate that we are getting all these medical the hospital covers everything yes. free of charge yes. but that is not so in the other part of the world mm -hmm. so if you do not have a life insurance policy you won't be able to get any medical treatments so that is also one of the reasons that life in insurance penetration is not up to the standard with compared to other parts of the world yeah. as a lawyer as well as being in the insurance industry for such long as an insurance lawyer don't you think such regulations is time to get such regulations because after all these premiums are for a year I mean, it 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 and 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 most of the companies give the health insurance free of charge when you get a life, right? Am, am I correct? Or for a lesser it's, premium? Yes. It's yeah. A, or yeah. it's embedded in the same yes. thing. So don't you think countries that have imposed the fact that life insurance should be mandatory, uh, we should have something like that legally here? If or you ask that question personally, I do agree with you. You do agree. Huh? But Chanakya. What is wh 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 where will be the block? Yes, block. As I told you, because the. If you look at our country standard, mm. there are a lot of other things to come out. Mm. So the the standard living standard of the people has to be first. Mm. Do, we have to give the priority and the attention. Mm. Putting aside money to a buy a life insurance policy will not be the priority of most of the people in this country. Mm. So it will they will consider it certain additional expenses. Right. There are other things that. Before getting a policy, there are other things to do. Of course, there will be a time for that, but we have to go more. Right now, one of the things about I know you have to, you want to talk about the other uh, non-life insurance area, but yes. before that, uh, the one of the things people uh, might uh, complain is uh, that when you go to go buy an insurance, the assessment of pre-existing conditions for health. Yes. How is the legal status on this in Sri Lanka? Uh, because this is a big problem in America, mm -hmm. and if you had uh, known uh, President Obama's time, he he brought in a uh, situation saying the the assessment of pre-existing conditions is rather unfair in in the insurance uh, industry in America. But how is it in Sri Lanka? It's like this, Chanakya. So at the beginning, I told you this is insurance is a risk transfer mechanism. Mm. Insurance companies also undertake the risk depending on the analysis of the risk category. Mm. Because they are also spending public money, and it, uh, the, to charge a premium, I call that insurance company will charge a premium for that. This premium is decided based on the risk elements they are going to undertake. So when you apply a life insurance policy, so I think it's fair enough for the insurance companies also to yeah. get to know about your health conditions. Health condition. yeah. So if you are like, if the, if the premium charge would be different. From a person charge a premium if a person is having very perfect health condition, mm. the premium could be different with compared to a person who is asking a policy with having lot of ailments. So, for to identify that, it is sometimes it is necessary for the policyholders to undergo a medical checkup. Right. But it's not a very cumbersome process yeah. because insurance companies, because insurance, as I told you, it's a very competitive business today. Mm. So the insurance companies also come out with various, various suggestions, suggestions in order to minimize the hassle. So it is the prerequisite for life insurance policy to obtain a life insurance policy. Sometimes you have to undergo such type of medical treatment. To be a medical test. Okay, uh, you are answering the different type of insurances. I interrupted you when you were about to go to non-life. Yes. So tell me about non-life. Yeah. Non-life, we call as general insurance general because insurance. That, that's more familiar. Yeah. When I say general insurance, because these are the more familiar cate uh, category in the Sri Lankan market. Mm. Because if you have a vehicle, whether you like it or not, Chanaka, you know that you have to have an insurance policy. Mm. That's a mm. government requirement. Because of that. Putting aside like life insurance policy, people tend to buy a motor insurance policy. Yeah. So this, all these motor insurance policies, fire and burglary policies, and the marine and cargo policies, all these policies are other than life insurance policies. All the other categories are coming under general insurance policies. General insurance usually it's a it's a one it's a one year policy. Hmm. It's not like long long term policies. It's not like life insurance policies. These are short term policies. Hmm. So these are the segments which is which is coming under general insurance segments. Mm. As I told you, general insurance segments are also like 
like with our, uh, with our changes of habits and with our standard of living, generally insurance segment is also getting changed. Mm. So those days, we have not come, rec come across the policies like directors and officers liability, mm. professional indemnity liability. Uh, Shanake, you and me, we are professionals. Mm. But that doesn't mean that in throughout our lifetime, we may, mis we may do mistakes. Mm. Mm. But in some of the other parts of the world, it is mandatory that professionals, they have to have a in insurance policy mm. in order to cover the professional negligence when yeah. they are working out professional negligence. Yeah. Those policies are available in the Sri Lankan insurance market also today. For which professions? Any professionals. Any professionals. Any professionals, uh -huh. any professionals in order to minimize, in order to cover their risk yeah. arising out of the negligence yes. of their, when they are doing, carrying on their duties, yeah. the, the, the policies are available yeah. as well as the, for directors. Directors yes. in the companies, you know, directors, they are carrying out a very, like, uh, the strong role in the company and for, in order to minimize their risk, the policies are available in the market today. But these, these policies are not popular so much with compared to other part of the world. Why so is far. that? Now, that until is, you told me, I didn't know that there was professional negligence insurance in Sri Lanka. Yes. That's, that is, uh, Shanaka, as I told you, because some part of the world, it is mandatory. Ah. When you are working. So, so don't you think it's time at least to make, you said that, that mandatory making, legally making mandatory about life insurance, it's kind of a no-no yeah. because people are, all don't have money to afford that. But professionals, probably the company is paying the premium. Right, generally, most of the countries, the company is paying the premium. Yes. It's built into your salary package. Yes. So, don't you think at least that should be encouraged by the lawmakers? That's a very good suggestion uh -huh. because it will be have an you advantage. Have all taken it up with the? Yes, it will be an advantage for the insurance companies also. Yeah, but have you all canvassed that or taken that to the insurance board or the regulator or the lawmakers? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, so far, no. So yeah. far, no. Yes. Right, after they watch this program, they might. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Now, uh, the, we are talking about uh, the insurance and the law related, but the process of taking insurance. A lot of people get misled on this sometimes. Yes. Can you just run us through briefly uh, explanatory at through? Yes. Uh, the, uh, I told you that it is not only the insurance companies. There are three mm. main segments in the industry. Mm. Insurance companies, insurance brokers and the insurance agents. Mm. So uh, directly, if you want to get an insurance company, uh, insurance policy, you can directly step into the insurance company and you can explain whatever the requirements you have and you can get a policy from that company. But if you are a very, uh, if, you have, if you are a person with a lot of uh, commitments and if you do not have time to step into an insurance company, by all means you can call to the insurance company and immediately insurance company will arrange a marketing person or an insurance agent to come to your doorstep and to enlighten you and to tell you what, what you have to do and to can arrange an insurance policy. And uh, the, uh, the insurance companies also, it's not only based in one or two uh, cities in the, like the insur insurance companies also, they are having all over the country, they are, most of the companies, they are having their branch offices. Mm. So any part of Sri Lanka, you can obtain a policy when you go to an insurance company. Mm. And also, as I told you, you can you can speak to an agent. Agent will come and help you, and also you can contact the broker to arrange an insurance policy. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the mechanism that uh, today's practice to in order to get the insurance policies. Right now, uh, what would be if if somebody watching all this, listening to all this, was wonder again, uh, or if I were to ask again, why should one take insurance? That there are mandatory areas like driving a vehicle. But for house, burglary, fire, why should one take insurance? Is your answer the same that you told me in the beginning? Or? No, it's like this, uh, Shanaka. We'll forget about the insurance for a moment. Hmm. So, we, the, the, can you remember the past, la, last year also, hmm. and as well as this year, hmm. the catastrophes we faced due to floods, Yes. due to, due to landslides. Yes. So what happens? For a moment, individual, or a business entity, you will lose everything. The earnings, the hard working money, and the whatever the things that you have earned throughout your lifetime, you will lose everything in a moment. So as an individual, as a business entity, you won't be able to bear these financial losses. That's why the insurance is important, Chanakya. Insurance, even like not only general insurance, if you are having a life insurance policy, as I told you, 
there are this world is filled with lot of uncertainties mm. i'll give you one very good example chanakya as a lawyer who works in an insurance company day to day i'm experiencing i'm handling accident cases mm. i'll give an example mm. so one of the incidents there was a lorry and the lorry driver he was driving the lorry and there he had a tire uh, puncture mm. so then he stopped the vehicle and put aside the vehicle to uh, the, uh, by the side of the road and the driver was attending the, to the tire puncture mm. so you know what has happened this was happening night so there was another vehicle came on the same same side and he at least that person didn't have time to think what has happened he was run over by the vehicle so he died on the spot so these things of course we never expected we never think that these things will be happening mm. so this is why the insurance is important so even you are no longer there mm. your loved one and the people who are depending on you so if you have a life insurance policy that policy gives covers the assurance so they will that policy depending on the policy they will the policy will give you the financial support mm. in order to overcome the barriers mm. so the life is filled with uncertainties insurance is that it gives it it helps it helps you to come out with these financial losses that is the important nirosha perra thank you very much for joining law and order and so very insightful thoughts on uh, insurance and we wish you luck and success in whatever you do thank you for joining us thank you very thank much you. Yeah. that's uh, law and order for you today we'll join you next week at the same time with another edition of law and order and uh, join uh, our facebook chat on facebook slash law and order channel i that's facebook slash law and order channel i and you can post your comments and your queries and your questions you have on that enjoy the rest of the program on channel i have a good night and have a good weekend